issues of unprofessionalism, mistreatment of clients, unaccountability, and dishonesty have now been officially addressed amongst public servants as the Public Service Commission has formulated a code of ethics and conduct that will educate public servants on how to avoid these issues. Executive Permanent Secretary for the Public Service Commission, Dr. Hubert Fulford, implored public servants to take the documents very seriously. It tells how we will be conducting our business from now on. It tells how we will conduct ourselves and the responsibility we have for each other internally as well as externally. We must regard our code of ethics as a guide to our moral conduct. They must form part of our contract to the government, to the people, and to ourselves. Public servants played an active role in the formulation of the Code of Ethics along with a competency framework. More than 200 public servants spent between 8 and 10 days in workshops until the finished product was presented. According to Fulford, the competency framework is equally important and will serve as a career guide for public service workers. Fulford says it exemplifies progress. I started as a mere clerical officer, but I had a path in mind. I had a goal in mind. I did not have a competency framework. You now are in a better position than I was in about 150 years ago when I started. <laughs> so we're going to use this competency framework as our guide through the challenges that we will face our career guide. The initiative has been in the making since October 2007 when according to Fulford, the commission decided that the public service sector needed rebranding. Member of Public Service Commission Cheryl Ann Jones noted that the public is an equal partner in administering the guidelines. The public will also have standards by which to hold us accountable. And once you see those things written in black and white there, they say that this is what we are going, this is how we are going to serve you. So it gives the public an avenue to complain and to praise as well. And to help us as we invite the public to, to help us to hold to those codes that we have set out. Copies of both documents were distributed to all ministries who will then have the responsibility of further distribution to all public service departments. Over the next few months, public servants will also receive training in what is expected from the Code of Ethics. For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.